guys welcome back to my channel so yes it's been a minute again since i've done a video as i said in my previous haul my mom was here um we celebrated leland's birthday early we did it this last weekend we did that because his birthday is on thanksgiving this year he wanted to invite his class and i wanted to make sure that you know people would show because if we would have had his birthday the weekend after Thanksgiving, pe you know, people are still out of town because kids get a week off for school. So we did all that early. My mom just left this, mor this morning to go home. I am decorating for Christmas. Um, I wanted to do that yesterday and I started. So I took all my fall stuff down. Um, I have my Christmas bins out but there was so much stuff from Leland's birthday party like all his all his toys that he got and I didn't want to have him try and move all of that so I cleaned this morning while the kids are at school they're still at school all this week the kid um, Shannon has half days Leland gets out early because um, he's only TK which is preschool um, but Shannon is in first grade, so she gets out at 11.50 all this week for parent-teacher conferences. And then this coming weekend starts their Thanksgiving break. So um, a lot of the videos that I'm going to be doing are going to be in the morning. That's usually when I try to do them. I know you guys like hearing and seeing the kids in the background. There might be some hauls and videos where I'm doing them in the patio. Um, like I said, I just, I haven't decorated yet. Nothing is up. The only Christmas things I have are two blankets, my gnome wax warmer, and then my kitchen towels are hanging on my stove. Um, the bin is sitting outside. The Christmas tree is in the kids' room behind, in, the, in their closet, in a bin. So I wanted to clean and do all of that before I bring the tree out and all my decor stuff. So anyways, Long story short, this is gonna be a collective haul. It's mainly Dollar Tree. Me and Shannon went on the day of the party. She wanted to get Leland some balloons um, and she wanted to get him her own gift, which I thought was really cute. So, and I'll do that for her next year from Leland. Like this year he did add things in her bag but next year I'll have him do his own bag just like she did. Um, so it was just me and her, he didn't go. He was with his dad. Um, his dad took him on a little adventure and he had so much fun in the morning. So we went to Dollar Tree, she picked out some stuff. She doesn't ever really get to go with me um, unless she's with her brother too and I take them after school. But most of the time I do all my shopping and stuff while they're at school. So she was really excited to go with me um, I can't show you what she got him, but she got him some stickers, some Hot Wheels, some candy, a washcloth. She did pick out him a card and she decorated the inside of it for him. And I think that was it. Um, and then she got some regular stuff and then she picked out Christmas stuff for her and her brother. So I'll start, there's really not boring stuff, but I needed some Q-tips. So I got, you guys know I like the paper sticks. So I got that. She wanted to pick out some new toothbrushes. She loves Barbie. She's all about that right now. So she got this two pack. I am gonna get them new battery operated ones. Those will go in their stockings for Christmas. So. I'll get those when it gets closer. I don't need those right now. Um, but for now, the the kids can just use those regular ones. I don't want to buy them battery operated ones because I'll get them a new one for their, uh, for their stocking. So she got Leland a SpongeBob washcloth. It was different um, and she chose this one for herself. And then she saw these hair bit um, hair clips and she wanted them, so I told her that was fine. So she got those. And then I got these lip or um, lip balms, baby range. 
Baby's Moisturizing Lip Balm, Safe and Gentle, Nature's Nourishment and Protection, Moisturizing Baby's Delicate Lips, No Alcohol, No Pigment, No Preservatives. It doesn't say what the scent is. Um, it just says that it has rich avocado extract. You guys know I'm always picking up lip balms. I keep them everywhere, so I saw a new one, so I went ahead and grabbed a pack of that. And then I did get more candy for the candy drawer. I made my husband a leftover like candy salad with the Halloween candy. There was a lot of fall and Halloween candy that didn't get eaten in there. Um, I put it in a big Ziploc bag and had him take it to work and leave it in the break room. Like the candy corn, cause I can't eat any of it with my teeth right now. Um, I did let the kids pick out what they wanted to keep but like the Sour Patch Kids, the Sour Bats, the Little Sour Pumpkins, those are all in a candy salad. And then pretty much everything else was like candy corn, like the pumpkins. My husband doesn't like any of that. So I just put them in baggies and had him just take it to, the, to his work. Christmas is the one where I have a feeling he's gonna, I'm gonna have to restock it a lot because a lot of this, um, I tried to get stuff that I know he'll eat, so that way there's not a lot of leftovers. I did go to Target on Sunday, which is yesterday. My mom went with us. Leland wanted to spend some of his birthday money. He got some more toys. Um, I needed to get a few things, and I found some Christmas candy there as well. So I think I have enough now for all 12 containers. I need to wash them. I'm gonna wash them today. And then tomorrow I will do the candy drawer. I will be filming it for you guys. Um, if you missed my first time doing that, then I will relink the containers in the description. Um, most of this candy is from Dollar Tree. I've been hauling it. And then you'll see a few things from Target that I found on Sunday. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be using all of this for the candy drawer, it just depends on what I have. Um, so whatever I don't use in the candy drawer, I have plenty of jars and like containers that I can put candy in if it doesn't fit in the candy drawer. So I got three of the Junior Mints of the Peppermint Crunch. I love these and so does my husband. I usually put one of these in my stocking, um, but I've been grabbing three boxes. Three boxes tend to fill the container perfectly and it closes, it doesn't overfill it. So that's why I grabbed three. If you guys saw my last haul, I hauled the Dots, the Frosty the Snowman. I'm still on the hunt for the reindeer. This Dollar Tree didn't have any, they were all out. So I'll still be looking for those ones because I do want Frosty the Snowman and the Reindeer ones. I think it'll look really cute in the candy drawer. I found a different dot. The other ones were red and green with like a little bit of white. These ones are lumps of coal. Where you're, were you naughty or nice this year? So you get blackberry and black cherry. So they look like little lumps of coal. So I got three boxes of dots. My husband will eat these. I already showed him. He was like, okay, that's cool. And then I got the regular dots. So three boxes. I found these. These don't really scream Christmas to me, but it's okay. Um, they are Warheads, sour, sweet, and fruity blue raspberry cubes. So I got three boxes of those. And then these are new to us. Well, my husband, he loves peppermint patties. He loves mint stuff. I don't, but I know he will eat these. So again, I don't know if these are gonna go in the candy drawer. Um, I might put these in a jar, mix it with some of these other ones. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided, but we will see. These are minty bells. They're mint and milk chocolate flavored. So I got 
three bags. And then I got three of the peanut butter cups. And then I got three of the cookies and cream snowmen. So again, I don't know if I'm gonna use, I'm gonna keep the packaged candy for the end. I'll use everything that is in boxes and then the stuff I got from Target. And then if there's like two or three containers left over, then I'll use this to fill those. But if there's not, then I will um, mix all of this and put it in a jar. I did buy a new jar at Target. I will show you that in a minute. I also got, um, me and my mom went to Walmart. I didn't do a haul. It was mainly all for her. And I mainly got grocery stuff that I needed and some stuff for the party. I bought Leland's pinata. I got him a pair of pajamas to throw into his gift. Um, but they had the white Christmas trees. So I bought two bags of those. You guys know my, my husband, my dad, my husband loves white Reese's. So those I'm not putting in a candy drawer either. Those will go in a jar. Most likely in this new one that I got, I, like I said, I still haven't decorated, so I don't know which jar is gonna go where. I wanna put that, put the white Christmas trees on this little tray like I did for Halloween. So this stuff I will save till the end of me doing the drawer so that way I can see if I need it or not. I finally found the gingerbread cookie mix. I got two of them. I might pick up two more the next time I go. Um, I am planning on doing Christmas goodie bags, but I don't know for sure because it all depends on when this baby is coming and how I feel. Um, but this is something that I would do even if I, if I wasn't doing the goodie bags. This would be something for Christmas that I could do here. I might be going home for Christmas so I might take the, I might make these and just take them with me to my mom's um, if we do go. Again, it all depends on when this baby gets here. Um, but these just look so amazing. I love gingerbread. It's one of my favorites. So I did get two of those to make some cookies because one package is not enough. It says that it makes 12 cookies. So I have to do like double. All right. And then I found these cute little tea light candles. Um, these are just like the ones that they came out for Halloween and fall. They had the little pumpkin ones. I only got one. You get three little snowflakes. I thought those would just look really cute in between some stuff that I decorate. I will be doing a Christmas house tour because I didn't do one last year. So, and things are gonna be different this year because I got rid of a lot of stuff. I have more stuff than last time. I didn't film last year, and so I don't remember how I decorated last year. Um, I kind of have to base it off of the year before that and then just feel it out and see how I feel where I want things. But I only got one of these. They didn't have any other colors, so I don't know if there are, but I only saw white. And then I have stocking holders, but I needed to get a new one for the baby and so my husband and mine are just going to be some plain black ones, the ones that I usually use, and then the kids can have characters. So I found one snowman. You can hang the stocking on it. So I'll let Shannon and Leland decide which one they want. She's um, Leland's probably going to want the snowman, and Shannon's probably going to want Santa. But if he wants Santa, that's fine. I just grabbed one of each. There is glitter fallout on this, not a whole lot, but I do need to spray it because it's all over my fingers. So I got the snowman and the Santa. And then for the baby, I got the penguin. I haven't been able to find a penguin stocking. Um, so I'll have to get him one next year. I'll order one on Amazon. All the ones on Amazon are kind of expensive and it's his first year and he's really not gonna get anything like I mean, I'll probably get him extra little things that he needs, but it's not like the kids, you know, he's going to be a newborn. So, but I wanted to represent him too. So I got the penguin. I saw this and that's what made me get 
one for each of the kids too because I didn't want just the baby to have a character one. I wanted all three of them. Um, I found the stocking at the 99 so I will be showing you that. It's right here next to me because I did go to get some stuff for Leland's uh, birthday party as well. And then Shannon wanted Santa. That's why I feel like she's going to pick the Santa because she likes Santa Claus. Um, it does sing. It's a musical plush. She said, Mom, can we get this for the stocking? She knows that I do stockings, that that's not from Santa Claus, that that's from me and Dad. All the other presents, she assumes that they're from Santa Claus. So that's why she asked if she could get this for her stocking, and I said yes. And then she got this one for Leland. I need to see if they have a penguin, um, so that way we can put it in the babies. So, got those. And then she saw this little notebook. I got her one last year, but it was different. Um, she wanted this one. It's just a little notebook with a pen. It's a perfect stocking stuffer. And then she chose this one with the little dog for Leland. So those will go in their stockings as well. I already got them some Christmas coloring books, but she wanted this one. She freaked out and saw the penguins and she said she wanted to get this so she could color pictures for the baby. Um, so I told her yes, and then I was like, pick one out for Leland, and she chose Avengers. So I'll just add these to the other ones that they have, and I'll just wrap them all together. Um, so, got those. And that's it from Dollar Tree. Like I said, it wasn't a whole lot. Um, she mainly got stuff for her brother for his birthday. I got two balloons. I got an, um, I ended up getting a tablecloth and a package of plastic spoons. That was also something else that I needed, so that's why I went to Dollar Tree, um, but that was stuff for the party. So now I'm gonna show you the 99 real quick. There's not a lot. It's just this little tiny bit that's in this bag. Um, I went ahead and got the Christmas gingerbread soft cookies by Little Debbie. You get eight soft cookies in there we love those and then I got the um, Christmas Nutty Buddies and you get 10 hopefully those won't get eaten right now and those can wait until Christmas but we will see oh I also got candy for the candy drawer from the 99 Again, if I have too much or whatever, I have plenty of jars that I can fill. I just thought these were really cute. Um, they're by Brock's, which is the candy corn brand and the ones that make the pumpkins. These are just holiday jelly lights. I might have to get another bag though. Uh, you get blue raspberry, cherry, lemon, and lime. So depending on how fill how full it makes the container I might go back or I'll wait and see if the kids and my husband even like this because if not I don't want to buy another bag because this was a dollar 29 these I got for my husband's stocking so I'm gonna save I need to put all the stocking stuffers stuff in a bag so that way I don't have it mixed up but you guys know he loves sweet tart ropes these are the holiday punch ones so I'm going to save this for his stocking. And then I found these pens. Again, I know Shannon likes Santa. These were only 99 cents. It has all the different colors. They can use this with their notebooks. It just says Merry Christmas at the bottom. It has Santa. I don't think it lights up, but I'm not sure. And then this one has a little dog wearing little reindeer antlers. So I got that one for Leland for their stockings. My receipt. And then the last two things from the 99, I did get some stickers. I have some left over from last year, but it's not gonna be enough. So I know, I already know I needed to get more to decorate Christmas cards. I am gonna be doing those. I'm gonna start those probably December 1st. 
I will get those out to you guys. Um, my list is pretty much the same as Christmas or uh, Halloween. And there was a few people I couldn't send Halloween cards to. I told you guys to email me and I never heard from you. So um, these are pretty much the same, but they were 99 cents. It's just Christmas stickers. It has like four or five different pages. It has the like glittery shiny ones. Can't even open this. has just a bunch of cute ones and then I had I like I said I still have some from last year um, but I wanted to get more and then this one is pretty much the same thing just had Santa so I got one of each that they had so 99 cents got two of those and then this is gonna be the baby stocking I just got a plain white sweater I might switch, no, mine's a gnome. So this is gonna be his. Like I said, it's just something simple. And even if I don't use it next year, then I only spent $1.50 on it. It's not that expensive. He's really not gonna have a whole lot, like I said. I might buy him like some extra onesies or some little mitts or the little hats. Um, I'll let the kids pick out something. I want to see if they have a penguin like theirs um and that's pretty much it that's because he i've been buying stuff so he doesn't really need anything um if he ends up needing like bottles or um an extra binky or something i can always throw it in here and that could be in his stocking but i just got the gray and the white because it's with his theme since they didn't have a penguin one so i just got him that cute stocking and I forgot to look at Target when we went. Um, I forgot to see if maybe they had stockings with penguins on them. So it's okay though. All right, now I'm gonna show you Target. I forgot that I bought that box of Q-tips at Dollar Tree. And I got this one at Target and this was only 250. So I'll use that box first and then I'll have an extra box. This one has 500. Again, it's the paper ones. These are my favorite. And the kids, um, I did buy at the 99 Q-tips for their bathroom. I just got the plastic ones. I don't like those. So once they're out of those, they'll need some more. So this will be plenty. Um, but this is the jar that I got fell in love with it. It says gingerbread bakery made fresh daily. So depending on which jars I have, I might put the white Reese's trees in here and then put this on my tray since this one's not super big like my glass pumpkin was and I can still fit other stuff on my tray. If not, I was thinking of moving my coffee pods in the container that I have on my coffee bar now and putting them in here and putting that on my coffee bar. But again, I need to wait till I pull everything out to see what I have. This was in the Target dollar spot, so it was only $5. And if I don't use it on my coffee bar there, I have plenty of other spots I can use. And again, I can put candy in it, my K-cups, whatever. So I did get that. This was also from the Target dollar spot. I only got one just because this one is very different from the ones that I have. And Leland really liked this one. So it's a little gnomey. He has like a tree on his hat. Like his head is like a tree. He's holding a little gift. And then he has a tree pattern on him. And he was only a dollar. So I got that. The kids got these. I'm probably just going to put these in their um, bath bomb jar right now because um, it is getting really low. And I am going to buy them. I don't want to buy them anymore because I do want to buy them some for Christmas that have like Christmas things inside of them. I saw them on Amazon, so I'm going to get those for them. 
Um, so I don't want to, I don't want to go crazy with the bath bombs, but these were only a dollar. They were in the target dollar spot. Um, this one is blasting berry. So it has a hidden color inside. It's purple on the outside. And then I think it turns green. This one is mutant mango and it's red. So they each got one of those. I got this and again, I'll probably just add this in my stocking, even though I already picked up lip, lip balm. I might open it before that. I don't know. This was um, like a dollar something and it's Vaseline lip therapy, but it's sugar cookie. So I had to get that. I might open that sooner. Um, and then these, I was really excited to find. I didn't think they were going to have any more, but they did. Um, my, you guys know my kids are obsessed with, my kids are obsessed with Bluey. So it has a Bluey toy inside of it. Um, it shows you what to do. But it's a toy ornament. So this one has Bluey. She's wearing a Santa hat. And then this one is Bingo. So I got one of each for the kids. These will probably, I'll let the kids probably open these early um, and they can put them on the tree. And then the last two things are candy. And I only got two. I got the Sour Punch Bites in Merry Mix. So you get watermelon, green apple, cherry, and berry. And then I got the Haribo Sweet and Sour Reindeers. I'm hoping these are like the bats. Uh, it says you get sour lemon, sour orange, sour strawberry, sweet apple, sweet blueberry, and sweet cherry. So I did get one big bag of that as well. So that is it for this collective haul. Again, I'm sorry that I have been lagging on my videos, but my mom was here for a week and I wanted to just soak up all the time with her because um, I don't know when I'll see her again most likely Christmas, but that all depends on the baby. Um, we did do, I did post my maternity photos on Instagram and Facebook. If you don't have, um, I might do it differently for you guys here on YouTube. I might just like collage them all into one picture instead of posting all 10 that I posted. Um, I'll make like a little collage and then I'll post it on my community tab so that way you guys can see it because I know some of you don't have Facebook and Instagram, but they came out really cute. Um, I was super excited with them. So I do want to post that for you guys. You can see it tomorrow. I'm doing the candy drawer. And then the day after that, I want to do what's in my hospital bag. I've been putting that off. I still haven't packed it and I need to because I'm already having Braxton Hicks and this baby could come at any minute. So I just had my appointment last week with my doctor on Wednesday and I told her about the Braxton Hicks. Um, they're not close together, so it's not anything alarming yet. She told me to just keep an eye on it. Um, obviously if my water breaks, she said to go to the hospital, but so far so good. So I do need to at least get my bag packed. So that way, if something does happen, it's ready to go. Um, and I have everything. I've just been waiting to do that video. So tomorrow is the candy drawer and then I'll do what's in my hospital bag. And then I'll be all caught up. And then if I go anywhere Thursday, I'll have a haul for you guys. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I would love to be part of my YouTube family if you're not already. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.